What's good everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Kuze, and welcome back to my channel. Now today's video is gonna be epic, man. It's gonna be epic, like seriously. But anyway, before we get into it, uh, just check out the back if y'all notice. All right, got the flag of Angola. All right, so if you didn't know, you can check out my other previous videos. I started a challenge with myself and I said, I'm gonna represent every African nation. So the last week or last video I had was Algeria and today is Angola. So if you're from Angola, represent, you know what I mean? Get excited and if you're Cape Verdean, man, Angola, that's like our cousins, man. That's our people, so let's represent for them. But let's get into this video, man, let's go! And you already know, man, if you're feeling the vibe, make sure you subscribe because I'm building the tribe. Let's go, man. And I'm excited about today's video, all right? So today we're going to be doing two epic shows from the 90s, man. And in this corner, we got the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air versus Martin. Yes, man. Yes. So we're going to go through each key point, everything, and even talk a little bit, you know what I mean? But make sure you comment, hit the like button, be a part of this, man, because if you was an 80s baby or whatever and you represent the 90s, you knew about this, man. So we're gonna go right in. All right, so who has the best theme song, man? Now, don't get me wrong. Both of them are great shows. Both of them got great theme songs. So let's just evaluate them and go over them real quick. All right, so the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, man. You got the Fresh Prince, man. I gotta be honest with you, man. That theme song is crazy. Everybody knows it, man. My favorite part is in West, West Philadelphia, Philadelphia, born and raised on the playground where I spent most of my days. That is like my favorite part of the song, man. I can't even front, it goes perfect. But don't sleep, man, because Martin, man, Martin's theme song is, you know what I mean? Martin, do, do. Martin, you know what I mean? Get down, you so crazy. Bam, 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 you know what I mean? Like they both hit. But I'm gonna be honest with you, man. When it comes to theme songs, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air got a better theme song. All right, so we're gonna give the Fresh Prince the first check. Boom, done. All right, now let's talk about cast, man. Cast of these shows, okay? So for the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, you have Will Smith, all right? You have Uncle Phil, you have Aunt Viv. You know what I'm saying? You got Carlton, all right? You got Ashley, you got you got a whole bunch of different people. You got Ashley, you got the ditzy sister, you know what I mean? You got the little snazzy, little witty butler. You got Jeffrey, you know what I mean? You got Jazzy Jeff. They have a great cast, they got a great cast now. But uh, when it comes to Martin's cast, man, Martin's cast is a whole nother beast, all right? So you got Martin, right? You got Martin, you got Gina, you got Pam, you got Cole. You got Tommy, all right? And in the early episodes, you got, you got, uh, uh, what the heck was his name? Uh, you got Stan, all right? You got Stan, he ran the radio station with the white boy and all that other stuff. But this is where it gets tricky, see? Martin played multiple roles now, you know what I'm saying? He played Otis. Y'all remember Otis, the security guard? He played Otis, all right? He played, I think you're wrong in the house and watch your mouth. Without a doubt, you know what I'm saying? Then he played Dragonfly, you know, the little Dragonfly. Remember Dragonfly? All right, then, you, come on now. Shanane, Shanane, all right, you got Shanane. You know what I'm saying? Like, he played multiple, multiple cast members. So I'm gonna be honest with you, I gotta give the cast, when it comes to the cast, I gotta give it to Martin. I gotta give it to Martin, okay? So Martin's gonna get their first check. Martin, boom, done. All right, so now that we got the theme songs out of the way, and we got the cast out of the way, let's talk about epic, epic episodes, man. Well, matter of fact, before we get into epic episodes, let's talk about celebrity guests. All right, so the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, man. They had Queen Latifah, man. They had uh, uh, Tyra Banks, uh, Evander, uh, um, Holy, oh, uh, damn, I'm gonna mess up his name. <laughs> Evander Holyfield. Man, they had a lot of people hit that stage up, man. Yo, there was a lot of cast up in there. I gotta say, their celebrity, their celebrity cast, I think they had Chris Rock on there. They had a big celebrity cast. But, man, it's hard to do this one because Martin, man, Martin, select, yo, that Snoop Dogg on there. 
they, 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 they had Biggie Smalls, Notorious B.I.G. You know what I mean? Just them two alone is epic. And what I gotta say is the Martin Show did the cast, the celebrity, the celebrity guests differently. You know what I mean? You had a uh, um who else do you have? You had a uh, um you had Tommy Davidson from In Living Color. And yo, they literally did two episodes when he was playing Varnar, uh, uh he was playing uh, the TV host. I'm doing this off the top. I don't have uh Varnell. There you go. Uh, and they literally had, they had, uh, you know, uh, Jodeci on there. And don't get me wrong, um, you know, on, um, on Fresh Prince, uh, they had Boys to Men. They had a lot of people on there. Um, they had uh, BB, uh, Bell Biff DeVoe on there too. You know what I'm saying? But I got to give it to, I got to give it to uh, Martin as far as the celebrity guest goes. Because they literally used the celebrity guest and like, they didn't just pop him in there. And you know, just a little bit. I felt like the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, they put him on there. And you know, they did their thing or whatever. But you know, I felt like, you know, Queen Latifah, she had her own thing. But like, like I said, you know, Tommy Davidson went on there and they did two episodes. Snoop was on there, man. Biggie, the Biggie episode, that was freaking crazy, man. Like, they had a lot of guests on there. They had a lot of boxers and stuff. Like, I gotta say, the celebrity guests, I have to give it to Martin. Like, I have to give it to Martin. Cause, like I said, to have to have legendary rappers, uh, Snoop Dogg and Biggie Smalls, R.I.P. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's epic. Just those two episodes alone, man, with them two on there is crazy, man. They had Joe to see. Like I said, they both had, you know, but I got to give it to them. So we're going to give the check mark to them. All right, so now we're going to go into episodes, man. Now, eh, this is tough, man. This is really tough for me. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to a tear jerker, as far as getting a message through or something like that, you know what I'm saying? Don't be wrong. Martin, he had a lot of messages and stuff like that. But man, Fresh Prince touched on a lot of things. The Fresh Prince of Bel Air touched on a lot of things, man. A lot of things, man. Like you know, fathers and, and, and being a father. Remember when he, he why he don't want me, man? Why he don't want me? He was hugging Uncle Phil, and then remember when he got shot? Remember when Fresh Prince got shot? They did some real dramatic stuff, man. Like some of the episodes was tear jerkers. Also gave life lessons and stuff like that, but still remained funny. You know what I'm saying? So. I'm gonna say when it comes to like, you know, real dramatic episodes, I gotta give it to the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. I gotta give it to the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Boom, done. They get a check. Cause like I said, some of those episodes, man, like, yo, they was tear jerkers. You know what I'm saying? It was tear jerkers, man. Like, yo, there was a lot of times you watch Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and you wanna laugh and you end up crying, man. Like, and it's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. Like, I gotta give it to them as far as impact on the episode to get their point across like that that drama that that extra oomph the fresh prince of bel -Air, they did that for you all right now as far as comedy goes like the funny episodes don't get me wrong the fresh prince of bel -Air had crazy funny episodes they had crazy like they said they got a great cast but come on man Martin had the funniest episodes, man. Martin had the funniest episodes from when they did uh, New Jack City over. Remember, we had the little dog. Uh, remember when Gina, you know what I'm saying? Like, remember when uh, Gina, she had went on a trip, whatever. Boy was underneath of the bed. Uh, he was sitting there fighting the dude. The dude was laughing. He was roundhouse kicking him and faking him. You could even hear Martin say, yo, just roll with it. Like, as far as comedy goes within the episode, yo, when you knew when you watched Martin, you was going to get a funny episode. You knew it was gonna be hit. You knew you was gonna get a lot of things, all right? So let's talk about, let's talk about dynamics within the cast, all right? So, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. When it comes to Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, their the cast was good, but then a few changes happened, and the, you know, for me, it was kind of a, uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, man, I love, I love black Aunt Viv, you know what I mean? I like dark skin Aunt Viv, and I know she's a diva, I know. But that's what I started with. And the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, they try to play. They just threw white skin Aunt Viv on there and just made a joke out of it. And, you know, it was like, all right, cool, you know what I'm saying? But then they end up having a baby towards the later episodes. What was his name? Nikki. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Oh, oh, you know, that was kind of threw me off too because they had a baby, and then next thing you know, this, this kid was like five years old. It was like, well, what happened? Y'all didn't bring me up to date, you know, as far as that goes. But uh, you know, I, I don't know. But as far as like 
You know, now this is on screen, not off screen, okay? Because I know people are going to go there. All right, and as far as on screen goes, I got to say, man, Martin Interact with Pam, they always was beefing. You know what I'm saying? They always had that roast. They was always constantly going back. If you notice, the cast, the, the cast didn't really change too much. I mean, Stan, you know, he ended up leaving the show, you know, because he actually had a is, uh, a situation that happened. We'll get into that, whatever. But, you know, but he ended up coming back. You know what I'm saying? Their cast still remained the same. Like, there wasn't a light-skinned Tommy. You know what I mean? It was always Tommy, Cole, Pam, Gina. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you know, as far as them, you know, within the cast or whatever, and within the cast, I thought it was real funny. They both, you know, like I said, Martin did his thing with Gina. You know what I mean? He always had his little jokes or whatever. He always, you know, messed around with Pam or whatever. Tommy and him had their own thing. Remember, Tommy ain't got no job. Tommy ain't got no job. You know what I'm saying? I felt like every cast in Martin... You know what I mean? They played, uh, you know, like they played, uh, they played their role, and I felt like they got a little bit more love. Like I'm be honest with you, in the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, I wanted to see more Jeffrey sometimes. You know, I kind of sometimes felt like Will dominated the show all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, don't get me wrong, Martin dominated his too, but like I said, he would let Tommy have his episodes, whatever. Like, I wanted to see more, more of uh, of, of Jeffrey. Uh, you know what I mean? Like Car Carlton and, and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm gonna give the check mark to, Mar um, to Martin on that one. To Martin on that one. I, I got, I get, I gotta give it to Martin on that one. As far as cast, you know, because like I said, Martin's cast didn't change. You know what I mean? Where you, you light skin, dark skin, Aunt Viv, Nikki. You know what I mean? Don't get me wrong. Ashley grew up, and you know, and that's cool. Uh, but you know the, the cast kind of changed a little bit, and I, I do feel like that sometimes threw the dynamic of the show off. So I, I got to say the the cast with Martin stayed consistent, even when Stan left, it still stayed consistent. Okay, all right. So let's let's keep on going. Let's keep on going, man. As far as is uh, longevity, both shows uh, Martin had five seasons. Uh, uh, Fresh Prince had six seasons, I believe. Martin had 132 episodes, and Fresh Prince had 148, somewhere like that. Now I'm gonna just be honest with you. Let's let's go about. Let's be real. Let's let's talk about crossover, okay? Let's talk about crossover. Like what show crossed over and touched all? Because you know, let let's be honest with. Um, you know, Martin, man. I, I gotta say, Martin. I love Martin because the, you know the lineup it was in. You know, you had Live in Color. And, you know, they had Martin, you know what I mean? But let's be honest, man. Uh, Martin was more urban, you know what I mean? Martin was more urban, like, you know what I mean? Like, if you was in the inner cities of Chicago, New York, Philadelphia, where I'm from, Providence, Rhode Island, you know, the West Coast, those urban areas, yo, know, they, they had Martin, you know what I mean? They had Martin, you know, the, when it come to the urban crowd, you know, because you got to think, we, Martin was doing stand-up, he was doing, he was hosting uh, Def Comedy Jam, you know what I'm saying? So, and that's an urban show, whatever. Yo, they had the urban, you know, they had that on lockdown, but as far as crossover, I mean, everybody could relate to the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. It was on NBC, uh, Martin was on Fox, you know what I'm saying? So, as far as popularity goes, uh, I'm going to give it to Fresh Prince due to the fact that you know what I mean? Like, a lot of people, you know, a lot of white people, uh, all different other people, they wasn't scared of Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, you know? You, you, you have, you know, you know, you had Martin, he was a little bit more, he was urban, he's more urban, you know what I mean? So, a lot of people that, if you didn't watch Martin, you was more into uh, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Me, personally, I watched both of them growing up. I'm going to be honest with you, even though I watched both of them grow up, you know, bo both of them growing up, I think they're right here with each, each other neck and neck as far as popularity, but I have to be honest, like I said, you know, Fox was, wasn't as big as NBC at the time, I mean, who knows where they're at now, but, you know what I mean, like, Fox was still on the come up, you know what I'm saying, so, like I said, you had shows like In Living Color and stuff like that, where NBC was already established, so for them to have uh, the Fresh Prince, you know what I mean, boom, you got to give Fresh Prince a check, they win there. Alright, so man, I don't even know where the levels are at right now, man, but like I said, yo, it, it, what ended up being the best thing about both shows, if, if you like one, you might not like the other, or if you like the other, you didn't like the other one, like I said, some of us grow, grew up liking both of them, but the best thing that I think that happened out of both shows is both of them were able to connect right after and create bad boys. All right, so just the simple fact that Martin was on his throne and, and Will Smith was on his throne and they had two great shows. Like I said, they both was epic. They was able to come together and create Bad Boys. And you have Bad Boys 1, 2, and 3. But 
I gotta be honest with you, man. If I have to pick now, this is my personal opinion. It's my personal opinion, okay? If I have to pick, I'm gonna be honest with you, all right? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna use a scale of one, one to five, okay? One to five, okay? Uh, I got, I'm gonna give the Fresh Prince uh, a, a one, uh, from one to five, I'm gonna give the Fresh Prince a four and a half. But I give Martin a five. I'm sorry, I like Martin better, man. If somebody asked me between what two shows, both shows, which one could you watch? You know, you can't watch the other one. I'm gonna pick Martin. I gotta say, like I said, yo, Martin was everything, man. Like it was hilarious. It was funny. I felt the dynamics was different. Where you know, Fresh Prince of Bel Air was more family. You know what I mean? It was more family because you know they had the Uncle Phil and they had Aunt Viv, and you know it was family. They went to high school, whatever. But when it came down to it, I felt like Martin was more dumb. Even though I was a kid watching that, Martin was more adult. It was between a, a young couple, their friends. There wasn't kids on the show, unless the time, except for when uh, um, Martin was playing Gina's, that little, you know, Gina's, uh, Gina's little neighbor when he would act up with the boogers in his nose, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But I felt like it was more like, you know, like, you know, I could feel, I don't get me wrong, like, I love that, I love that the Fresh Prince of Bel Air represented family, but I felt like, you know, you know what I mean? Like Martin, he represented, you know, a strong black man. Same thing with Will. But, you know, it was a strong relationship and same thing was there. But this was more family. And I felt that this was, you know, it was a young couple. They was, you know, maybe, you know, late 20s, early 30s. And they had their friends over and whatever. Like, you know, I felt like it was more, you know, it was cooler to watch. Because, you know, if you grew up in family, like a lot of the episodes you can kind of relate to, whatever. But this was like different. Like, I wanted to grow up and be like, yo, I want to have a friend like Tommy who don't got a job. I want to have a stupid friend like Cole, like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I just, I connect more to Martin. But yo, it is what it is, man. They're both great shows. It's not like I diss Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. I gave them a, a four and a half and I gave Martin a five. You know what I'm saying? And that's just my personal opinion. All right. So I stated down the facts. I pretty much laid down some stuff. I probably missed some stuff, but hey, yo, let me know in the comments, man. Let me know how you feel. Tell me about how you feel about each show. Hit the likes, hit the thumbs up. That's Mr. Kuze, man. And that's the battle of the Fresh Prince and Martin. Now, if you want me to continue doing this series, well, I'm gonna continue doing this series regardless. And uh, the next one's gonna be pretty epic too. But like I said, man, tell me, you know, another TV show versus another TV show that, show that you think would be bomb or epic to talk about. And like I said, I'm gonna break down every key point. I might miss some or whatever, but that's your boy, Mr. Kuze, and I'm out. Peace. Kuze. Cool,